Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Sonia Miller here from Junk Monkey Pen Company. Where I guess take some time today to sit down with you guys. Recently I posted on my Facebook page a post that says, Morning friends, I am open for questions, painting, life, business. What do you want to know? You guys always love to send me in questions and so I thought it would be so fun to be able to take your questions and to be able to answer them here for you live. It's one thing to be able to respond back through Messenger or through Facebook, but when you get your answer live, I don't know, there's just something about that, right? So I'm gonna take um, these questions. It says there was 22 comments, and so we'll see which parts were comments, which parts were questions, all that great stuff, but I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Sonia from Junk Monkey Paint Company, as I said, wearing my very messy painting shirt, queen of junk. By the way, you guys do not know that we have over at junkmonkeypaint.com a new section called Banana Bunch Swag. And you can get this custom, one of a kind, junk monkey design on um, on mugs over there, right? So you need a queen of junk mug. Are you the queen of junk? Take my blog quiz right here on YouTube where I ask you, I think it's like the seven things that make you, in my mind, a junker. Have you achieved that level? So there you go. Go check that out. But today has been a busy day of packing and shipping. And uh, let's see, what else have I been doing behind the scenes? We have some new leather boho bracelets. These are locally made handmade for the junk monkey so definitely some junk monkey swag here one of a kind we have all different colors and so today has been a busy day you don't realize when you're a business owner all the little things it takes to be able to run your business so honestly a big portion of my day today was spent taking photos and um, just putting all that stuff up on our website and now it's there you guys I think are the first to know because I haven't told anybody yet right but it's there all right so let's see here Gaylene says hello on here, Linda says hello as well. Adele says, love your painting. Heck yeah, thanks so much. Helen sends me hearts on here. Linda says she likes how I put the shop together and I have some big pieces of my space now. She loves how that looks. You know what, sometimes in your space when you're decorating, just having like a statement piece, you know what I'm saying? And so my statement pieces are all fun colors, okay? So I painted a piece, a hutch that, that not everybody, but there were some people that like, oh my gosh, why would you paint a hutch? a berry dance color, like similar to right here. Have you guys seen that? And then it was done and everybody's like, whoa, this is beautiful. Never, never ever be afraid of taking chances. Um, going with color pops, that's fun stuff, right? And so for me in my space here, I don't have a very big, big shop. I downsized from a 7,000 square foot building to like a 700 space that I'm using right now, 700 square foot of space. There's not a lot, right? And I'm painting DIY in here. All that good stuff and so one thing I've learned in the decorating world is that if you have some pieces that are beautiful that can also function as storage that's a win-win that's one thing but I do have some I think I have like three hutches in my space and the reason why is I use it for storage pretty storage that I can paint demonstrate my paint really inspire somebody because sometimes it's until you actually see it um, you know in person then you realize, oh my gosh, I could totally do that with mine, right? But the point I really wanted to make was that if you have a space that's smaller, if you have things like hutches that you can paint that vertical and lead your eyes up, your space is gonna feel taller and bigger and more wide open, right? So there you go. So thank you, Linda. Amber Larson says, good morning, Sonia. I have a booth and I want to step up my game. I've been wanting to join your coaching club, but I'm not sure if I can convince my hobby. I love him to pieces. I know you love him to pieces. Suggestions. I love your videos and products and have transitioned into using them. Amber, I would love to have you in my group, okay? So uh, right now we're about to enter the month of August. We just closed our membership for anybody who wants to jump in because I think in my mind it's like, you know, when you're watching a movie and somebody comes in and halfway and says, what happened? Who's that? All that sort of thing. I want anybody in my coaching group to be able to be off on the right foot, okay? Sometimes as a business owner, it's hard. It can be overwhelming. It can be confusing and you're trying to figure out things as is. I don't want anybody in my group to feel like they're left behind. And so make sure you watch when my coaching career group opens up again. Right now we have like 160 ladies in there, um, all rocking their business, all finding just community answers to their questions, all that great stuff. And so it will reopen at the very end of August. Okay. So to make sure anybody watching this is on the list and you want to jump in, if you go to our website at junkmonkeypaint.com, right there in the little box that it says, you know, sign up right here for emails, news alerts. That way you get on my list and you get notified when we reopen because when we reopen, we're probably going to be only open for like maybe 48 hours and then we'll get started again on the next month, okay? But here's the thing. It's $25 a month to be in there and I coach every Monday. I coach every Friday. That's a guarantee. Mondays, we talk business, being strategic in your business and on Fridays, we talk paint. So basically, it's a group for somebody who wants to paint like you, Amber, 
and you're already painting and you have a booth, but you're not just somebody who just wants to paint. You also want to not only flip your furniture, but you want to be able to flip the money that you put into that piece of furniture and make some money back, right? So I will tell you, you can make a sign and make $25. So you can be in my group, put into actions the things that I'm talking about, like the things of how I grew my business on a shoestring budget. I believe that everybody coaches differently. Everybody has different things to bring to the table. For me, um, I was never gifted my business. I grew it from my, literally from my kitchen floor, from my garage floor, and I still have the paint flicks to show for it all over the walls. Um, but anyway, so what I want you to know is that when you're in my group, I give you action steps. So maybe if you say, hey, hubby, can I try this group for $25? And I promise during the 30 days that I'm into it, I am going to work dang hard to make at least one project. And I'm going to sell that one project doing what Sonia tells me to do, make that $25 back on that very one project to pay for my entire month of being there, right? That's all you have to do because I really think it's important um, for business owners. You don't have to do it alone, right? And it can be hard and it can be lonely. Don't be a solo entrepreneur. Be there with other people. Um, so just like I'm taking your questions right now, that's, that's the style I do into the group as well. And whatever you have, I answer back, give you ideas. Also, we do page reviews every month. So all, all kinds of great things to help your business grow, right? And the other cool thing is because I'm a realist and I know that there are different seasons of business and there are seasons that maybe you want to hustle and there are seasons that maybe you just can't because you've got something going on. So, you know, you can jump in for one month, test it. You will love it. I promise people who enter stay, but it's all up to you, right? So I like to run a simple business. So once you're in there, you can leave whenever you want. You control. I kind of like it that way. You control your account. So you log up through PayPal or you log in and register through PayPal through my link on my website at jumpmonkeypaint.com. I remember, click, click Coach and Create. You'll see when it opens, it'll have an open sign and it'll have a little um, subscribe button. And so it's a monthly subscription into my group. And, um, but when you're ready, if, when, you know, whatever you want to do, if you want to jump out, you just go back into your PayPal and you, when you sign up, I get notified, I'll let you in. When you go into your PayPal and you uh, unsubscribe to it, I get notified and I let you out. So sometimes it can get weird. And I know I never want to be that person that, um, you know, kidnaps people or makes people feel like they have to stay. So I would encourage you to give it a shot for a month. See if you love it. I'm going to know you'll love it. I'm going to tell you. And you'll find great business buddies in there too uh, to hang out with you. And so those are always the set things that happen Mondays and Fridays. But also know that um, I'm also in there popping in every so many days as well. So like, you know, tomorrow's Wednesday and I'll be in my group tomorrow taking questions and that people have left on the wall in there that need some help. And so lots of great topics and lots of topics that will help move your business forward. So you can make that money back, Amber, 25 bucks. You will not regret it. Yay. Bridget, oh, actually Bridget responded here. She says it will increase your business tenfold or more. She teaches the right way to do things in what order and it makes it much less daunting. Best investment in your business you will ever make. Ah, uh, and, and Jenna says as a new business, Owner, money is extremely tight for us, so I thought convincing my husband to allow me to spend the extra money was going to be hard until I sat down beside him each night and turned on Sonia's videos and we watched together. So as we watched, I said to him, look at all the teaching she gives out for free out of the kindness of her heart. I took what I learned over a few days and did a piece that turned out amazing and he said, I see you would benefit from her paid classes as well. I've been a member for a few months now and learned something each time she comes on. Tell him she is an awesome investment. Good luck. Thank you, Jenna, for the love. See, there you go. So I'd love to have you, Amber, or anybody else who's watching. Melissa says, recently redid my old dresser as a child. My old dresser, maybe that she had as a child for her nine-year-old. She, her daughter, picked out the colors. Your paint was super easy to work with. So glad I tried it. Oh, my gosh. She actually shows me a picture right here. Can you see it? Can you see it? So she painted what looks like to be the Bahama Jade and the Red Apple and flipped it from um, just that. Do you ever see like pieces of furniture that are just, they're white plastic? I can tell from looking at this, like the age of that dresser and stuff. And I've painted so many, so many pieces of that kind of set that was popular at that time. And uh, I know that's not real wood. And I know that's done in uh, French provincial style, but it's probably like 1980s. And she did an amazing flip with it. All right. Rebecca Mastin says, how does somebody go about selling junk monkey paint company paint? Rebecca. So if you have heard that over the last few months, we have unleashed the beast. Okay. Unleash the monkey. All right. This, these are my monkeys and this is my circus. Okay. So here's the deal. So as the junk monkey love spreads, we've now made it available to retailers and we're starting to branch out. So if you go over to junkmonkeypaint.com and you scroll to the bottom, at the top you'll see find a retailer, and at the bottom you'll see become a retailer. And there is an application right there that you fill it out real quick with your social medias, all your contacts, where you are. And so as people come on board with us over all the different states and we get applications in every single day, we review them. 
um, to see if you know you guys are a good fit. Um, but we love them. Maybe you're already using the Junk Monkey paint. We don't know. Maybe when we go to your site, we'll see you already using it, which will be super, super cool, right? Because I do believe that um, if you're already showing people how to paint or you're already using Junk Monkey paint, it does make sense for you to sell it too because you're probably already a professional with it and you can really teach some other people on how to do it, right? So you do get an affiliate link, which is where you get a link to earn commissions off things that are sold on our website that you've like referrals that you've sent because people take, um, you know, people take other advice from other people. It's like when your friend says, Hey, go see that movie. And you're like, okay, cool. She knows what I like. And, or somebody says, do not go see that movie. You're not going to see it. Right. So if you're somebody that loves junk monkey and would love to be a retailer, uh, definitely go to our website, fill that out. And we'll take a look at the area that you're in as well, because one of the things that we're doing is again, I just like to keep it simple in business. And so when you sign up to be a retailer, you get an area that's yours, right? So um, as the people come on, they're grabbing some areas that they really, really like. So we have a couple more new retailers coming on this week. If you wanna see as the family grows, and every week we add more retailers because behind the scenes we have to get all their orders, get them all set up in the system and make it all work so everything goes smoothly. But go to Junk Monkey Paint and click find a retailer. So Melissa says, when painting kitchen cabinets, what would be the best steps to take? Melissa Hopperich, I think her last name is. Hopefully I said that right. So when painting kitchen cabinets, what would be the best steps to take? She says, paint, wax, then seal. I want to do it right. What is the best sealer for a kitchen? And I have Janie and Nancy that says, I'm also interested in following for an answer too. So you guys are going to be so happy because I happen to know a lot about painting kitchen cabinets. And in fact, that I am a licensed contractor to go into homes and paint kitchen cabinets um, and I've been doing that for the last few years, but I've taken a break as of this fall. Um, but over about a year and a half period, I've painted 70 plus sets of cabinets in all different styles all over the area. In fact, uh, when I stopped painting kitchen cabinets, I just decided that I was going to take a break from it after doing that many. And so, but I was booked up three months in advance. And people still call me because I was known as a guru for kitchen cabinets. And um, what I love doing is doing kitchen cabinets in what I call junk monkey style. Okay. So, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, even though I stopped painting kitchen cabinets, I did a brain dump of all that information, everything I learned, because I learned a lot, and a lot about prep, a lot about the, um, you know, the steps that you should take, but can I tell you something real quick, just from what I do know, don't seal your cabinets in wax, okay? Wax is going to be great, in fact, there's a vlog on here that says, when do I seal with poly, and when do I seal with wax, and in that, you'll hear me say, make sure you seal with poly on your kitchen cabinets, because Poly, well, let me just back up. Wax sucks into your piece, okay, and protects it that way. But poly not only sucks into your piece, but forms an outer layer of coating over it, okay? So you have a film over your cabinets, and that's extra protection. Because when it comes to furniture and when it comes to cabinets, your cabinets are, you know, are in a hot kitchen. It could be humid. It could be oil splashing everywhere. Food gets stuck on, all that sort of stuff. So your cabinets are going to take a beating. So much like your kitchen table, make sure you're still with poly with multiple coats. But if you would love to get an hour and a half long tutorial from me teaching you how to paint your kitchen cabinets, it is on our website. It is a paid tutorial. It is well worth it. So you can paint your cabinets in confidence, okay, and do it the right way. So there you go. And you can watch me paint right there live and how to do it and learn all the shortcuts because you know what, um, for a year and a half of doing that, you just learn a lot, okay? I invested a lot of energy into doing that, and um, now I've got it down to a science, okay? To the point of if you prep your cabinets the same way I show you how to prep it in that video, it's like a no fail. It's awesome. Kimmy Vori says, you have such positive energy. Inspire me with every video. Thank you, Kimmy. So for anybody watching me, you definitely know that I am a girl whose glass is half full, right? I am grateful. The fact that we are here every day is a miracle, and um, I'm just, I just feel so fortunate to be alive, to be able to do what I love, to be able to inspire other people, get to do that every single day. And um, I just it's, it's just amazing, right? And we're just so lucky to live at a time or in a place um, to be able to do whatever we want. So you guys know I moved from Canada here to the US. I love the, the fact that I'm from these two countries. And whether you go north, south, east, or west, you can find amazing people to connect with. You can find amazing things, amazing inspiration. You can feel connected now more than ever. And so I get to do that with all of you guys. So seriously, I am a pretty lucky kind of gal, right? So I never forget there is always something to be grateful for every day. But yes, do you have a bad day? Yeah, of course you do. A bad day is not a bad life, right? And I do believe this is something that I've taught my son since, like, since he was old enough to walk down the stairs 
and possibly be in a bad mood before he even like had his cereal in the morning, okay? If he woke up grumpy, I would say to him, buddy, you make it a good day or you make it a bad day. It's totally up to you, right? The mindset is so important, um, but I do believe that, you know, um, when you put out those positive vibes, that it comes back to you as well, right? So positive attracts positive, and uh, just the opportunities and um, just everything it turns into is absolutely amazing. So if you wake up today or tomorrow and you know what, you just put on your happy pants and you just say, remind yourself, yeah, you know, whatever, I burnt my toast, big deal. You know what, nobody died, big deal. It is what it is, all right? Learn but never lose. So even when things go wrong, if you think to yourself that, okay, that happened, but what did I learn from the situation? And that ain't never gonna happen again, right? So you have the control to make it a good day or a bad day. So hopefully you make it a great day. All right, Sherry says, I would love to know the recipe for your paint, paint if you're going to use them in a sprayer. I have a jar in the liquid format. Okay, so it sounds like she's maybe going to spray with the chalky style paint. So here's what I would tell you, Sherry. Our chalky style paint is you know, made in a, in a thick, chunky kind of recipe because that's our personal recipe and the paint was founded on how I like to paint and stencil and do all those things and have great coverage in one coat and for it to be able to stick on pretty much everything under the sun. So for all those reasons, the consistency of the paint, when you grab a can of chalk paint or a chalky style paint and you grab a brush and you get ready to go bananas, if you're gonna put it into a sprayer, I might wanna tell you to do a test and really, really water it down. I do not spray with our chalky style paint. Um, so because it's so, so thick, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want you to be careful because I would never want you to try to spray and ruin your sprayer because, um, you know, I know those things are expensive, right? And so just be very, very careful. And, um, you know, if you want to try it and, you know, do it on your own, let me know. I'd be, you know, I'll take note of what you tell me, but I don't use my chalky style paint to spray with. I um, do a brush and roll or just a brush. That's how you see me, right? Because you're going to need a really, really thin, you're going to really, really need to thin it out in order for it to spray. So <clears throat> proceed with caution, whatever you think is best. Use your best judgment. Karen Corey says, unfortunately, I can't buy your paint. I live in Bulgaria. My gosh, girl. But your videos are all inspiring. Love your shop doors. Had a go at it myself, and I love it. Look what she did. Can you see that? Remember my shop door out here, and I did. Uh, we did the, the grays, and we put a little bit of Bahama Jade in there and brown in there, and I think a little bit of black as well. So I love it, love it, love it. See, this is why I say I'm so grateful. When I can make somebody else's day better, that's amazing. So Kathy says, hi, Sonia. Should I use polyacrylic spray or brush on for a coffee table? So I always feel that um, spray, I'm gonna reserve for things like when I'm doing a sign. But I like to do a brush on because I feel just from experience that a brush on, when you put it on, it lays down thicker than a light misting. And um, it just helps get it into the pores of your piece a little bit better, thereby giving you extra protection. And so for a, um, oh, I got an itchy throat. And therefore, um, because you're doing it on a coffee table that could get a bit of use, make sure. That's why I'm thinking that for you. All right, let's see here. Uh, and she says, Sonia, can't wait to order your paint. Do I need to order a specific amount or a certain amount at a time? You do not. The system is set for you to be able to order what you need and it'll calculate and pull in rates from USPS. We ship priority um, all over the country and determine for you there. So get whatever you need. I think that's everything, guys. Those were all the questions that you asked me on this post. So watch for another one because when I do post that I'm open for questions, it means that I am going to be taking your questions and doing another blog type video just like this. Um, and getting to like right here talking to you. All right, so guess what? Now I get to go on to our Facebook page and today I am going to paint. Um, all this week we're doing furniture flips over on our Facebook page, so make sure you follow us over there if you're not already. And so Matt, my hubby, my partner in crime, he found today a bench for me for $5.99. $5.99, heck yeah! Thank you. So I cannot wait to paint it and take it from brownie frowny to absolutely shabby and beautiful. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So find me over there, hang out with me over there and right here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell that gives you an alert every time we open up or upload rather I should say another video 
And every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday are the days that we also that we upload and um, do like more videos than what you see over on our Facebook page where we play an awful lot as well. But over here we take you, you know, junk in and thrift in. We do DIYs, we do question and answer formats just like this. Um, and we even take you with us when we go on like business trips and we do fun stuff, whether it's the beach. Last week we went to Texas, heck, we go all over, right? And more goodness to come as well. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday. Ooh, what will we do? What will we get into? I don't know. Let's see. Take care. Bye.